Anthony from the Ecotherme channel and as we all know there's always those certain quests in games that tend to be ridiculously simple yet so confusing at the same time. In Fallout that tends to happen a lot what with the big open worldy sandboxy environment and all those weird windy tunnels and metro stations. Uh, during my time playing Fallout 4 I've been paying close attention to these simple yet confusing missions so I can make these videos in case you happen to get stuck on them as well. With that said, welcome to a little series that I'm going to call How to Do the Long <laughs> Confusing Missions in Fallout 4. Uh, if you have a better name, let me know in the comments. And as a quick warning, these videos will contain spoilers, so please only watch if you're actually stuck on these quests. Or unless you're into having stuff spoiled, in which case, more power to ya. Go for it then. That said though, we're gonna hop into the video and I'll see you guys there. Alrighty. In this video, we're going to cover Reunions, one of the earlier story missions in Fallout 4. The goal in this quest is to find and kill Kellogg, the guy who kidnapped our son and killed our wife at the start of the game. The first stage of this quest involves finding clues to Kellogg's whereabouts, and this is done by utilizing your dog, since, you know, he's a dog. This video will be in two parts, the first of which you're watching right now will cover the beginning stages of the quest on finding clues to Kellogg, or Kellogg's whereabouts rather, and the second part will just focus on actually getting to Kellogg himself. So yeah, the mission starts out, you go back to Diamond City after rescuing Nick Valentine, you talk to him, you know, you kind of get some info on the case and what's going on, you find out Kellogg has a house in Diamond City, and then Nick leads you there, picks the lock, and you go exploring through his house. Once you're in Kellogg's house in Diamond City, you'll find a secret room that's open by pressing a button at the bottom of the desk downstairs. In that room, you'll find a bunch of loot, as well as some of Kellogg's belongings, that you will let the dog smell to pick up on, on his scent. Those items are, I believe it's a pack of San Francisco Sunlight Cigars, bottle of stouts, and an ashtray. I forget off the top of my head which one the dog sniffs, but just pick them all up and I think, I think it's the cigars. Alright, from there, you'll be led on a trail of sorts, stopping off at certain points where he loses the scent, requiring you to find more clues for him to smell. This part isn't too hard though because the dog usually just stops right in front of or really close to whatever it is you're looking for to indicate that you know he found something because he's a dog. Uh, however for clarity I'm going to go over this bit which is why I'm making two videos. This might take a while so please feel free to skip ahead if you need to. But for now we're going to continue. Once dog meat leads you out of Diamond City he will head along a road to the southwest. Pretty soon he'll come to a halt and bark indicating that he's found something. Follow him to the nearby pond and grab the pack of San Francisco sunlights in the ashtray found on a crate. You can't miss it, trust me. Once you obtain the cigars, Dogmeat will run down the trail west towards some railroad tracks. Keep following closely and you'll see an animal carcass. Once you reach it, you'll be ambushed by a group of mole rats. Just deal with them however you want, they're pretty easy. Once the rats are dealt with, follow Dogmeat for another short distance and you'll soon be at a flight of concrete steps. Follow him to the bottom and take a right. Immediately to the right of the doorway, you'll find some bloody bandages. Give them to the dog and continue to follow closely. After another short distance, you'll be at another concrete doorway. Loot the dead body on the ground, then climb the stairs to the left. And once you get to the top, there will be a group of wild mongrels. Again, they're pretty easy. Just take them out however you want. Once done, find your dog. He should be off to the west a bit, then keep following him northwest. A little ways down, you'll be met with a yaogwai. I dealt with this by just spawning in a minigun for the sake of the guide, but you can employ any strat you want with this. Personally, I would pick away at its health for a bit, keeping my distance to avoid its melee attacks, then hurl a cocktail at it to eat away its health for a few seconds on top of the damage I'm doing by shooting it with my double barreled shotgun. Once the Yogwai is dead, find dog meat at, at the tracks. Keep going north and the dog will duck into a shack on the right. Enter the shack and descend the stairs on the right. At the bottom, there will, there will be can chimes. Just disable them and go through the door. Take a right below the archway and another immediate left along the tunnel. Soon, Dogmeat will find something, go left towards his position, examine the bottle on the small table next to the chair on the left. Continue going along the road towards west, pass under the arch, and go across the bridge. Watch out for feral ghouls as there will be some on the way. Although again, you'll just tear through them like paper if you have a minigun. When you reach the other side of the bridge, Take a swift right and follow the road once more. You'll then spot a completely wrecked assault tron lying on the ground. Talk to the robot, ask it what happened. Afterwards, 
Continue following your canine pal, taking a right down the nearby junction, then head north. He will then veer off the road, traveling up a nearby embankment. Eventually, you'll reach an old chain link fence where the dog will halt and bark once more. Locate the bloodied bandages and give them to dog meat. They're just hanging on the fence. Again, you cannot miss them because the dog will literally be looking at them. Follow him through a hole in the fence, go north along an overgrown street, and pretty soon, you'll reach a building with some steps. Dogmeat will run up the stairs, make a left, and bark, indicating that this is the place. From there, you're going to have to watch the other video because this is going to be like six minutes long, and I don't want to like, you know, carry on. But anyway, it's as easy as that. This is the building you're going to want to find a way into. Uh, if this is the only part you need help with and you want to figure out the rest for yourself, good, which is another reason why I'm making two videos. But if not, then again, stay tuned for the next video where I will cover getting into the building and then finding Kellogg. Now, this is a very easy quest, you know, inherently, but once you actually get inside, it can be confusing. And even on this step in the quest, it could get a bit confusing finding all these clues and stuff. Um, but anyway, I hope this has been of some assistance to some people. Hope it's helped you. Hope you guys are enjoying Fallout 4. This is, I'm going to keep this nice and short, as close to six minutes as I possibly can. So just hit six minutes. I'm looking at uh, Adobe Audition right now. And uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, enjoy Fallout 4. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this helped you guys. If you have any other guides on Fallout 4 or anything else you guys want me to go over, leave them in the comments. Private message me. Do whatever you want. Just let me know. And, uh, yeah, be sure to watch our live stream. Follow me on Twitter. Tell your friends about me. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Later.